I know that the lack of contact and the delays we've been experiencing are frustrating for you, and I completely understand how you might feel about it. You may be asking yourself why I keep talking so much instead of simply approaching you directly. Believe me, I've asked myself the same question many times. But if you could just put yourself in my shoes for a moment, you might see that this isn't as straightforward as it seems. It's not easy for me to find the right words or the right moment to approach you, especially after everything that's happened between us. This situation is incredibly challenging for me, but the most important thing I want you to know is that I haven't given up on you. My feelings for you are still as strong as ever, and I'm committed to making things right. This isn't something that can be resolved with hard work or determination alone, like a financial goal I could achieve by working day and night. This is about something much deeper, it's about my heart and, more importantly, about your heart. Both of our hearts are involved here, and they are fragile and sensitive, especially after everything we've been through. Your heart, in particular, is something I hold in high regard. I understand that it's been hurt, and it's only natural for it to be fearful and cautious. I know that I need to tread carefully, and that's exactly what I've been trying to do. I'm gathering all the courage I have to approach you. This isn't something I can rush because I want to make sure that when I do finally come to you, it's with sincerity and honesty. I don't want to give you any false hope or make promises that I can't keep. I know how much patience, time, and energy you've invested in this relationship, and I don't want to make any more mistakes that could hurt you. I understand that in the past, I've let you down, and I'm deeply sorry for that. The last thing I want to do is mess up again and then have to come back to you asking for your forgiveness. You've already been through so much, and you've handled everything with grace and dignity. You are truly a wonderful person. Even after all the mistakes I made, you never blamed or cursed me. You showed me a level of understanding and compassion that I didn't deserve. I can sense from your silence and your behavior how much pain I've caused you, and it breaks my heart to think about it. I feel incredibly guilty for betraying your trust and for causing you so much suffering. You don't deserve that. What you deserve is my loyalty, my honesty, and my commitment. I want you to know that I'm working hard to become someone you can trust again, someone you can feel comfortable with when I finally approach you. I am not the same person I was before. I'm no longer the egoistic, selfish individual who only cared about his own happiness. I've done a lot of soul searching, and I've realized that one of the reasons we drifted apart was because I wasn't investing equally in our relationship. I was just taking and taking without giving back, and that was completely unfair to you. I understand now that a relationship needs to be built on mutual respect, love, and effort. You were always giving so much, and I failed to reciprocate. For that, I am truly sorry. You are a queen, and you deserve to be treated like one. You deserve a real king, a man who is not only well-established and emotionally balanced but also someone who is confident, a provider, a protector, and most importantly, someone who is capable of being vulnerable without any fear or shame. When we first met, I was mentally immature. I was more of a boy than a man, and I didn't fully understand what it meant to be in a real, committed relationship. But things have changed now. I've grown, I've learned, and I've become more self-aware. I realize the mistakes I've made, and I'm determined to not repeat them. I want to be the person you deserve, the person who can stand by your side as an equal partner, someone who can offer you the love, respect, and loyalty that you deserve. I want to build a future with you that is based on mutual understanding, trust, and genuine care for each other's well-being. I know I still have a long way to go, but I'm willing to put in the effort and time to make things right. I want you to see that I'm not the same immature boy you once knew. I'm growing into the man you deserve, 
and I hope you'll give me the chance to prove that to you. How are you, my love? I want to begin by expressing my deepest apologies for the delays I've caused in our connection. The distance between us has weighed heavily on my heart, and I know it has impacted you as well. It hasn't been easy for me to stay away from you, and it pains me to acknowledge the part one played in creating this rift. Yet, I hope you understand that my actions, though misguided, stemmed from a place of confusion and external pressure, not from a lack of love or desire for you. You've transformed so much since we first connected. I can see how much you've changed, growing stronger and more assertive. This transformation in you has been remarkable, and I can't help but admire the person you've become. It's clear that you are no longer swayed by sweet words or empty promises. You've set higher standards for yourself, and I respect that immensely. I know that now, you won't accept anything less than a solid, genuine offer. You've raised the bar, and that has made me take a step back to reassess my approach. I realize now that I can no longer approach you with the same mindset as before. I have to meet you where you are, strong, assertive, and unwilling to settle for anything less than what you truly deserve. This period of no contact has been incredibly frustrating for me. I've been wrestling with my thoughts and emotions, trying to figure out how to bridge the gap that's formed between us. I've been working hard, both on myself and on removing the blockages that have kept us apart. There were times when I let myself be influenced by others, people who were against our connection for reasons that had nothing to do with us and everything to do with their own fears and insecurities. They created situations that forced me to distance myself from you, and for that, I'm deeply sorry. But now, I'm walking away from all of that. I'm clearing the path for us because I can no longer ignore the void your absence has created in my life. Your absence has had a profound effect on me, mentally and emotionally. The nights feel unbearably lonely and cold without you. I find myself longing for you in ways I never imagined. I miss the warmth of your presence, the comfort of your love, and the support you've always offered me. Please, my love, come back and brighten my life again. You are like a pillar of strength for me, and without you, I feel unsteady, as if the ground beneath me is constantly shifting. I want nothing more than to strengthen our bond, to fortify it so that no one, nothing, can break us apart again. This journey we've been on, though painful and triggering at times, has shown me the depth of my feelings for you. My heart is not ready to give up on us. I am so deeply in love with you, my musical queen. The thought of being close to you again is what keeps me going. I often find myself wondering if you still consider me a part of you. Do you still think of me the way I think of you? It's hard for me to feel whole without you by my side. But I'm holding on to the belief that our love is strong enough to withstand this test. Trust in our love, my darling, it's not going anywhere. This is just a difficult phase, a testing time for both of us. We need to stand by each other, not against each other, if we're going to come out of this stronger than before. I can finally visualize our love manifesting in the physical world, how it will feel when we're together, the things we'll do, the conversations we'll finally have, the home we'll build together, the places we'll visit. You are perfect for me in every way, and I see that now more clearly than ever. I can feel all the hard work you've put into us, and I want you to know that it hasn't gone unnoticed. You've been carrying the weight of our connection and it's time for me to step up and balance the battles that keep us apart. There's a space opening up in my heart where I can finally remember the way we loved before, the beauty that existed within our souls, the connection that felt so pure and unbreakable. You are a huge part of me, and I can't imagine my life without you in it. My love for you hasn't diminished, if anything, it has grown stronger in your absence, I am ready to do whatever it takes to bring us back together, 
to rebuild what we once had, and to create something even more beautiful out of the ashes of what we've lost. Please, my love, let's find our way back to each other.